Hi everybody, it's Andrea aka Violet Kitty 411 and welcome back to my channel. We are back in Pleasant View. Now I had decided that I was going to do a home for every bin family and putting them in the neighborhood associated with the pack they were introduced in, but the pets expansion pack did not ship with a neighborhood. So that means that Sid Roseland and Porthos and then also the cat family and the Kim family need to be placed in a neighborhood in order to do a redesign. Now it had occurred to me that the cat family actually belongs in Pleasant View because of the storyline of Ginny a cat who was originally from Old Town in Sims 1. So we're going to go ahead and place them there. there. Now once you place either the cat family or the Kim family, they cannot be reused. You actually have to do a deep dive into your files in order to do so and I will show you how to do that at a later date, but first I actually have to place them. Now like I said, they belong in Pleasant View because of their storyline. The Kim family actually belongs in Strangetown because of the architecture of their home and their storyline. And to me, Rosalind, Sid Rosalind, actually belongs in Veronaville because his dog is named Porthos, which is the name of one of the three musketeers, the Renaissance era royal guard of the King of France. So anyway, let's get on with it. So here we have the cat family in the cozy kitten condo, which is one bedroom, one bath. They have 31,933. For generations, Tara's family has always felt a special link with the feline species. Now Tara happily lives with the two cats left to her by her mother and one of her own. How do her cats feel about the newest addition to their family? So there's Mickey cat and Feline cat and Samantha cat. So Feline is the kitten that she adopts. And so let's go ahead and see what's in their home. Now here is Tara. Her storyline is that she's supposed to be related to Ginny a cat. Either she's a daughter or a grand niece or something, not certain. But she has an affinity with cats as has every member of the cat family. Now as far as I can tell she doesn't have anything that I need to save so I will just go ahead and evict her. Her cats Mickey and Samantha are here swimming in the living room and the baby is right here on the carpeted kitchen floor because they carpeted a kitchen floor. I don't make the rules. Anyway, I don't think she has anything I need to save, so I'm just going to evict her. All right, and here we are in the neighborhood, and this is, of course, the Cozy Kitten Condo, one bedroom, one bath. I will give it an address that's appropriate. Uh, so this is 195 Main Street, and that's 150 Main Street, so I'm thinking 155 Main Street. After I upload it, I will go ahead and change that. So here's the kitten condo and it looks pretty big for actually such a small house but there is room to be found for instance right here in the on the top floor. I'm going to see what I can do about the roof here. We'll see and also we're going to reclaim this space in the top floor that is not being used and it has a pretty good size footprint so we will definitely get a basement as well. So we're going to reclaim quite a bit of space in it. And as usual, a pretty awkward floor plan. We've got this strange L-shaped bathroom that is 12 tiles, which we don't need. We don't even need eight tiles. Uh, we've got an entryway, which is the exact same size as a bedroom. This octagonal, elongated octagonal living room and the kitchen which is the same size as the entryway in the bedroom and as I mentioned before carpeted because that's what Maxis does. One thing they did do is they put the uh, the rim between the the flooring down. I'm not sure when that happened maybe nightlife. 
So we're going to go ahead and remove everything before we get started so we can get rid of all the eye bleeding stuff. And then we will have our tabula rasa. And of course we're going to go ahead and also have as much space as we can. We don't know if we'll use it, but if we want it, we've got it, right? That is the point. So I kind of glossed it over, but angles in a basement are somewhat awkward to work with, but I did put them in there just in case I wanted that. But probably I will only go this far in the basement. Probably won't take advantage of that either. Now our budget is about 31000 and currently with everything stripped, it's about 17000 So I don't have a lot to work with. So I'm guessing I probably am not going to use the basement at all, but I am going to dig it regardless. So the first thing we're going to work on is this ridiculously awkward roof line. So we will go into the auto roofs and just click remove roof. Now I do actually have to get rid of this dormer over here in order to make this work. I will put it back, but it's one of those things that I got to do it. So first we will get rid of that. Now this is a strange, not quite octagonal, octagonal, octagon. So let's go down and we're going to take it out one here and one here and then two here. And it's still an elongated octagon, but it's at least this way completely symmetrical. So we will work with that tip it back up now page up now the roof that I'm looking to use that became available in apartment life is this one right here the low the small octagonal roof so we're going to start at this corner and then pull it back to the exact opposite now that is too high, but we do have the roof slope angle chooser. So let's go ahead and we've already have it set to 30 because I did that. And there we go. Looks so much better right like that. Now I am going to use the short gabled roof and start at the back corner here and move it forward. And that will take care of that. And also I'll do the short gabled roof at this corner and move it forward. It's just cleaner. Everything is just so much cleaner. Now I will use the small gabled roof page up and put that right there. And now I'm going to put a couple dormers in to mimic what we had going before. One right there. And I think we didn't necessarily have a real dormer there, but I'm going to put one there anyway. Let's have it go. Can I get it to go halfway? I can't. I'll figure it out. So in order to get the look that I want, I'm going to use this long gabled roof. Start roughly here at the middle, pull it across and then all the way forward. And that didn't work. We'll try it again. There we go. Let's tip it up to see. Did that look? Oh my gosh, that's weird. Okay, we'll try it again. Okay, instead I'm going to start here and then pull it all the way across and back. Maybe that'll work. I don't think I wanted it to go that far. We'll try again. Roofing in Sims 2 is not easy. Okay, so I'm going to use the short gabled roof, start at this corner, end at this corner, and then go back until there we go. And just overall, this roof looks so much cleaner than the one that shipped. Now if I do want to use this area up here, this roof does encroach on it. So I would need to delete this roof and then get 
a little more creative with the roof that I've got. I don't know if I am able to do it. Doesn't mean I can't. But for now, we're actually going to put this roof in just like that in two pieces. So if I want to, I can remove this second piece. So this is a one bedroom home, one bedroom, one bath. And the kitchen really should be the heart of the home. And it was placed awkwardly here all over, well over here. So two things. One reason I decided to do that two part roof was in case a person wanted to use the upper level and then they can think around with the roof. But if you do want to use the upper level, as it stands, a spiral staircase will fit nicely just right here. And of course, as I've shown previously, you can make it go downstairs through the wall as well. But I'm not going to do that because we just don't have the funds. So we're going to put the one bedroom right over here. I'm also going to put the bathroom. It was this weird L-shaped 12 tile. I'm going to give it eight tiles. Well, not eight tiles for the bathroom because we're going to delineate one off of this as a coat closet. But this way it separates a specific entryway. And then we have a small kitchen, a dining area, and a living space. Now, Ginny a cat wrote children's books about her numerous cats. So I have a feeling we're going to kind of lean into that for Tara. And she's going to be an author between the times that she's actually taking care of her cats and working. So I'll be kind of doing this with that in mind. Okay, so this is what we've got. We've got her bedroom over here, the kitchen dinette area over here, main living room, uh, front entry room that doesn't take nearly as much ridiculous space, and a bathroom and a closet. So let's go ahead and decorate it. Okay, so after waffling back and forth between value or country, I opted for country because Ginny a Cat stuff was done in very country form. And I actually did make Ginny a Cat both in Sims 2 as well as Sims 4, but this is for Tara. Anyway, uh, so we have the front entryway where she can play some chess and be greeted by a dirty litter box when she gets home from work so hopefully she stays on top of it actually not a terrible bad idea and over here she has her sitting area a bookcase a desk where she can write this is the cat condo that comes with the sims pet stories the other two chairs the chairs for the chess table go here. I kind of feel like she's the kind of person who wouldn't buy chairs specifically for her chess table, but if she had more than one extra guest, she would bring the chairs over. Here's the cat dishes. We've got a little galley kitchen leading towards the bedroom. Everything done in the seasons. Now keep in mind that seasons are in unleashed. I'm kind of blending the ideas because pets and gardening all came together. So I really did have a reason for this. Ballet bar and a easel here in the bedroom. And not a lot in the way of decoration. Simply, oh, and of course a very basic bathroom and no closet for the time being until she can afford it. Not a lot in the way of decoration simply because we can't afford it, but it's pretty nicely appointed for what we've got. So let's see what the family thinks. So the family has 31,933. The house is 30,895. So we have just a little over a thousand left. And here we are moving in. Playing with Mickey. And she's unemployed, but that's okay. She's got some skills. Samantha's checking something out. The cat condo that comes with pet. Ooh, there we go. Let's go ahead and give Samantha a praise for not scratching the furniture.
And there she goes. I think they approve. Let's see. Let's check out the... Yeah, pretty decent environment score considering it's all cheap stuff. Well, I hope that you did like it. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And I will see you soon in the pixelated world. And that's all I have to say. VK out.